muffin top, love handles, spare tire, <laughs> however you refer to that stubborn fat that accumulates on your sides, belly, and lower back, there's one thing we can all agree on – it needs to go. So how about a few simple at-home exercises to chisel your waistline in a week? Hey, try them out for yourself! Number 1. Jumping burpees Bend to the knees and put your hands on the ground. Then kick your feet back behind you so that you end up in a straight-arm plank. After a moment, pull your feet back in towards your chest, quickly stand up, and immediately jump up while reaching your hands toward the ceiling and clap. Lower yourself back into the starting position and repeat from there. You see, burpees help get your blood flowing and your heart pumping in no time, making them an awesome warm-up exercise. On top of that, burpees provide you with a great full-body workout that targets not only your abs and obliques – that's the muscles on your sides where that fat is sitting – but also your arms, quadriceps, glutes, chest, and hamstrings. Do three sets with 15 reps each. 2. Bicycle crunches Lie down on your back and bend your legs so that your shins are parallel to the ground. Raise your chest up and lift your shoulders off the mat. Keep your hands behind your head with your elbows out. Move your bent leg right towards your chest and simultaneously straighten your left leg so that it's parallel to the floor. While doing that, move your left shoulder towards your right knee. Remember that your elbows should remain out to the sides. This way, your stomach, not your neck, will have to strain the most. This kind of crunch works the sides of your stomach and hips. Do 3 sets with 10 to 20 reps each. Number 3. Kneeling Vacuum Kneel on the floor with your bum resting on your heels. Put your hands to the sides of your legs and pull your shoulders back. Now, imagine that you need to touch your spine with your belly button and suck your stomach in as far as possible. If you can't pull it in very far at first, don't sweat it. Your results will improve with time. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds if you've never done it before. Otherwise, you can hold your stomach in for 20 seconds. Some people don't breathe while doing this exercise, while others try not to interrupt their normal breathing. Choose whichever way is more comfortable for you, but don't relax your stomach muscles. This seemingly simple technique works like magic if you need to reduce your midsection, shrink your waistline, and carve your abdominal muscles. Repeat this exercise 5 times before taking a break. Number 4. Side Plank Lie on your right side and lean on your elbow so that it's directly below your shoulder. Lift your hips and hold your weight on your right elbow and foot. If this is too hard for you at the beginning, bend your right leg and rest it on the floor while keeping your left leg straight. And finally, reach your left hand up toward the ceiling. Just like a traditional plank, this exercise works your stomach muscles, as well as your back, glutes, and core. But most of all, the side plank focuses more on the obliques, which is a surefire way to get rid of love handles. Try to hold this one for 15 to 60 seconds on each side. Do at least 3 reps. Number 5. Swimmers Lie down on your stomach with your arms stretched out in front of you and shoulder width apart. Your feet should be hip width apart on the mat. Tense your stomach muscles and lift your left arm and right leg up at the same time. Leave them in the air for 2 to 3 seconds, then lower them back to the ground. Do the same thing with your right arm and left leg in the air. Do 10 reps of 5 counts on each side. If you want to break a sweat and burn more fat, alternate your legs and arms quickly 20 times on each side without letting them touch the ground. This exercise will take care of any lower back fat. It sculpts your rear end as a bonus. Number 6. Russian Twist Sit down on the mat with your legs together and knees slightly bent. Lean your upper body back and hold your legs off the ground. You can bend your arms over your chest or hold them straight out in front of you, whichever you feel most comfortable doing at first. Now, slowly twist your torso and arms to the left side. Hold it there for 3 seconds, 
and then return to the initial position. Repeat the movement on the other side. Do 3 sets of 10 to 12 reps each. By the way, if you do the Russian twist with some weight in your hands, be it a dumbbell or just a gallon of water, you'll burn calories and build muscle mass at a much faster rate. Number 7. Wood choppers. Stand straight with your feet shoulder width apart and your core engaged. You'll need something with some weight to it to hold in your hands. Again, a medicine ball or a jug of water will do. Whatever it is, make sure you can get a good safe grip on it. Now, twist your torso to the right and hold the weight above your right shoulder. Then, turn your body and squat down while bringing the weight to the outside of your left knee. Go back up to the right and repeat. Keep your eyes on the weight so that you don't lose your balance. Also, if you're a beginner, don't pick a heavy weight. Otherwise, it can lead to a bad rotator cuff injury. Do 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps on each side. Number 8. Reverse crunches. Lie down on the ground, lift your legs in the air, and bend your knees at a 90-degree angle. Keep your abdominal muscles tight and place your hands on the floor right next to your hips. Engage your lower abs to pull your knees up toward your chest. At the top of the movement, raise your hips up in the air so that your lower back and buttocks come off the ground by a couple of inches. Pause at the top of the movement for a few seconds, and then slowly lower yourself back down to the starting position. Just like regular crunches, the reversed ones work the front of your abs, but they especially hit your lower abdominal muscles. Do 3 sets of 10 to 15 reps each. Aim to do this workout 4 to 5 times a week. It's also a good idea to throw in some moderate intensity aerobic activities, like swimming, jogging, or cycling. That'll really kick up the fat burning process so that those love handles melt right off. And of course, you'll need to change your diet a little if you don't want that fat coming right back or not leaving at all. First, cut down your calorie intake. 500 fewer calories a day means you'll start to lose about 1 to 2 pounds a week. Avoid eating processed and fried foods. It's usually high in added sugars, preservatives, and additives. You'll also want to stay away from the usual offenders – sweetened drinks, fast food, ready meals, junk food like cookies and chips, and fatty meat. Remember that high amounts of added sugar get stored exactly around your stomach, which means, yep, a spare tire. If you're cutting fatty meats like bacon and sausage, simply replace them with lean alternatives such as fish, chicken, turkey, and lean red meat. It's a good idea to replace foods rich in carbs with non-starchy veggies, such as cauliflower, celery, peppers, spinach, broccoli, tomatoes, and the like. And finally, drink more water. It'll help reduce your overall weight and calorie intake, so your love handles will shrink with time. So, good luck out there, and let me know if these exercises work for you. And if you know any other ways to deal with love handles, leave them down in the comments. If you learned something new today 